everybody, Shoma32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the third episode of season one of Blackadder. This one is entitled The Archbishop. I am enjoying this season so much more than I thought. I'm so glad that this, like, I know, again, I've said it before, would have been a better fit to re eventually replace Red Dwarf, but I'm glad you guys have voted for it nonetheless, because I never would have given season one a chance at all. Never would have given it a chance, and I am loving it. I am loving it so much more than I thought, and I'm so, so glad that it's something we've given another chance. Um, last episode was really funny again. Like, I, Blackadder is not annoying me as much as I thought from those, like, first few minutes that I watched, or those few minutes I watched years ago. He's not annoying as me as much as I thought. Like, it's very clever. Him and Percy are, like, borderline too annoying, especially Percy. But not quite. It's right in that line. Like, for me personally, Blackadder, not Blackadder, Mr. Bean goes over that. And, like, I don't like Mr. Bean. But for me, me personally, this is doing all right so far. So far. It, I don't know how I'm going to handle the rest of the season. I might have a different opinion of all the rest of the episodes. But, yeah, last episode was really funny. Um, where it turned out that he was the bastard and not his brother. And just, like, the, doing the party and... The guy that played, oh, I can't remember his name. The Scottish guy that ended up take, ended up with his land, Edmund's lands. He's in, was it Taggart? Or something like that. He's been in loads of stuff. Like, I, he was in Good Omens, actually. I, I looked him up because I was like, I recognise him from somewhere, but it's like crazy. I can't remember what he played in Good Omens, though. I swear it was Good Omens I saw him in, but he's been in loads of stuff. But they get some good. They've got. They had some good cast in this in this season. Like I know in the other seasons, they've got great cast. But I had no idea about this one. I mean, Peter Cook in the first episode, it's insane. Like the fact that Peter Cook was in the first episode, like from the very beginning and stuff like that. It it's like shows how like much faith he had in the production because he's a fucking legend. And then you got Brian Blessed playing his father, only a little bit so far. I don't know how, because he was away on the Crusades. And now he's going to be back. I'm assuming, I don't know. I don't know, because I don't know if this time jump, I, I don't know. But it's going to be fun. Apologies, I keep clapping my hands in front of the microphone. I didn't realise I was doing that. Apologies. But yeah, I'm interested to see what's going to happen and like see how I enjoy each of the individual episodes. So we're going to get going. If you enjoy this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. I want to know what England, castle this is. November 1487. I really want to know. The battle between the church and the crown continues to rage. And uh -huh. the Duke of Winchester, the greatest landowner in England, is dying. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Recovery. <laughs> Let us imagine you yourself were to pass away. To whom would you leave your lands? <laughs> oh, that's all they care about. They don't care about him. May your filthy soul be prepared for hell, my son. <laughs> Blackmail in the priest. Blackmail him. Is he the archbishop? Forgive me, sire. I will change my will and leave my land. Oh, crap. Blessed be thy stainless soul. Ah, <laughs> you will change your mind later. I know it. <gasps> I thought he'd already gone then, after we signed. Oh, no, he's gone. I think not. Lovely, two people. Lovely. Okay, that sh he wasn't going to try and kill the priest then or something, was he? Still weirds me out that this season's called The Black Adder or The Black Adder. Sounds better, doesn't it? The Blackadder. I love Blackadder music. So good. Such an iconic tune that's slightly adapted for all of the seasons. Gorgeous. My lord, I come with tragic news. What, died at last, has he? Who, oh, my lord? Now the idea is that you ask me what the message is before you <laughs> tell it to me. Quite <laughs> brilliant, I must say. I was referring <laughs> to the Duke of Winchester. Who, my lord? <laughs> oh, God, he's, this ki kid's going to get on my nerves, too. Who is it that has died? The Archbishop of Canterbury, my lord. Are you a critic? Yes, my lord. 
The Archbishop of the old dad killed him, so he did. That's the third this year. How did this one die? Horribly, my lord. <laughs> details? Horribly is all I was given. <laughs> there you are. My lord, I come with tragic news. I've heard it. Will you go away? <laughs> Coming out of the Duke of Winchester's room. Who had just died, leaving all his lands to the church. And so the king was really after his blood, presumably. Well, I dare say. But the point yes. of that is, round the corner came Sir Tavis Mortimer. The king's hired killer? No, 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 no. <laughs> Mortimer, that tall, rather striking fellow with no ears. Yes, that's him. <laughs> well, Archbishop and rushed towards him with his head bowed in order to receive his blessing and uh, and unfortunately killed him stone dead. Oh no, such a tragic accident. Yes, one of those with the two feet spike coming out of the top. Yes, one of those things they normally use for butting their enemies in the stomach and killing them stone, stone dead. dead. Exactly. Oh my god, he's even worse than Edmund. Edmund's not as stupid as I thought. Oh, you do work in mysterious ways. I just don't know how I'm gonna break it to his catamite. Oh my lord. What a tragic accident, my Accident, my coddling. <laughs> oh, I don't know, it'll be one of the bishop fellows, I should imagine. They tend to go for religious types. Rumour has it yeah. that the king wants to choose Prince Harry. Really? The Archbishop, really? Claude! Prince Harry, Archbishop! Because if he's Archbishop, he can't be the next in line to. Oh, yes! <laughs> you know, she was the one who told me about the Duchess of Kent and the Chocolate Chastity Bell. <laughs> well, with random <Harry> gone, <laughs> the will be king. Today could be one of the most important days of my life so far, Percy. Going by the icon that was on the menu of the DVD, I have a feeling it doesn't go that way. It had black adder in it, and that's what I'll say. Italian and cod piece, my lord. Well, let's go for the black Russian. Harry. Oh, what a combination! Not really, my lord. Apparently, Lord Wilders is keeping his sheep in his bedroom, but nothing. On and the, the priest point. keeps looking at him. Oh God! Sorry, that's the wrong choice of words. Apologies. It, this. Wrong choice of words, I'm sorry. Oh, dear Lord. Well, this enormous nonsense here. Fingers crossed. It's going to be so bad, isn't it? I have, at last, after careful consultation with the Lord God. Oh, yes, because you absolutely can decide that way. It's all political, isn't it? upon the next Archbishop. I know exactly who it's going to be because he's easily controlled. Or so he thinks. Gullible. Fat chance. Uh, <laughs> I appoint! Whilst dressed like that. My own son, Edwin! And he still can't get his name right, so maybe. But he's not Duke of Edinburgh anymore, is he? Oh no, wait, the guy died. Never, never mind. Very good. Very good. Oh, God. <laughs> well done, well done, Harry. He still can't get his name right, so maybe the fact he said the different name is technically... He's not going to be it. Archbishop, because he's not who he said he is. Maybe? Good find. Uh, <laughs> Don't be mistaken about this appointment, Edward. I've always despised you. Really? Never would have guessed. Compared to your beloved brother, Harry, <laughs> I'm as uh. excrement is compared to cream. Oh, my Lovely. lord, you flatter me. And me also. So now, my boy, when I've at last been said Edwin, you, don't try to get out of it. That way, oh, that be a way you can get out of it, right? If I needed someone who believed in God, I'd have chosen Harry, not an embarrassing little weed like you. He doesn't need somebody who believes in God. He needs somebody he can control, who will give in to him when he wants the lands. If you cross me now or ever, I shall do it unto you. What God did unto the Sodomite. You oh, understand? Sir? Well, I shall make myself available for all eventualities. <laughs> oh, God. Edmund, that's not the way to go. Flee! What's he gonna do? Oh, come on, like nobody's gonna see all this stuff. 
Right, let's go. Really? How did he not think? Oh, God, that's the killer. He's got the killer with him. Going the assassin. Somewhere. Um, yes. He thought you might want the Archbishop living somewhere else. Out of here with a cup meal. I would hate to see you murdered before your investiture. Oh, God, when he talks like that, he doesn't have the, like, the bellowing sound to his voice. He sounds so menacing. He did it when he was in um, Blake 7 as well. You off to France, Percy? <laughs> I thought we all were. No, no, uh, Harry and I are off to Canterbury. Aren't we, Harry? Oh, boy. Oh, I see. <laughs> You've changed your plan. No, no, no not really. The only... Percy, shush! <laughs> Luckily, his, his brother's kind of gullible as well, in a way. Well, would my left hand offend me as well? I mean, what do I cut it off with? I love the fact that he's asking his brother for advice. He, okay, he's asking the Archbishop, but still, Edmund's got to take something from that, right? I would. Believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Hey, now. Um, yes. Uh, oh, the father came down as well. Okay. Hey, it's some responsibility ish. I don't blame him. Someone walked in that kind of stuff in his face. I blow his nose. Oh, no. But ever the shadow of his father's oh, threat boy. hung over him until at last one day. Tell me, Brother Baldrick. I'll say purple looks good on him. That's the assassin, right? My life is hanging by a thread. Okay, what? Well, why would they be doing it now? Is it just to take the land? I don't know. I really like the purple on him. Dying Lord Grovenny, attended by the Bishop of London, brother of the dead Archbishop. Okay. Where the air is pungent with the aroma of roasted behind. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I place my land in the hands of the church. Oh, uh, this, and he, his father wants him to go get the lands for the king instead. What? The archbishop not yet arrived? Not yet. Oh. Get out of my way! I have killed the pair of you! Oh. I have killed your brother! I'll abolish the church! Oh, my lord! My lord! Ah! My lord! Oh, my lord! Wake up! Wake up! He's still awake, Edmund. Am I in paradise? No, no, not yet. Then this must be hell. Alas, spare my posterior. <laughs> I'm the Archbishop of Canterbury. Oh, your grace, your grace. Am I to be saved? No, you treacherous swine. I'm no, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's just take this through in stages. Yeah, because if you kill him now, you're not going to get the land. You know the church? doesn't really need your land. Now, what it needs is a damn good trash house. Hey. Like not gain its blessing. Giving lands isn't going to get that. Someone like you go to hell? Never. Never. But I have committed many sins. Oh, well, haven't we all? Haven't we all? I murdered my father. Uh, I know how you feel. <laughs> Hurry up, Egbert. And I have committed... It's still keep... Oh, it's got to come back and bite him in the ass at some point. See, I will go to hell. Hell, where gross like turnips sprout right with the nose in the air. Kill that pressure! <laughs> Damn, Baldrick. Okay. The thing about heaven is that heaven is for people who like the sort of things that go on in heaven. Like, uh, well, singing, talking to God, watering <laughs> pot plants. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is for people who like the other sorts of things. Adultery, pillage, torture, those areas. Really? Mm. Leave your land. Okay, this is a good way to do it. Like, hope, I'm hoping his father will help him or thank him for something. May he treat me like the piece of refuse that I am and send me to hell. You're a very lucky man. <laughs> I wish I could be coming with you, but, you know, being Archbishop... I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you, son. 
But the My other way. My son, father. Oh, father. Look at him. My son. <laughs> oh, is it? I got. I know it's not only temporary. It's only this thing, and he doesn't actually love him. But it's still nice to see. Edmund doesn't even like religion. <laughs> that is gross. Is the Archbishop of Canterbury. And the Archbishop of Canterbury is also a naughty little boy <laughs> whose bottom I had to smack for relieving himself in default. He's every Archbishop is somebody's it son. last Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hands on top of, the, of his um, shoulders on his armour. Looks cool. <laughs> <sighs> He's so classic. He's awesome. I thank God that in What's my gonna life, happen, though? never again shall I have to say, who will rid me of this turbulent priest? Oh, God, I've just realised who it is. Who will rid me of this turbulent priest? Oh, stop saying it. Meaning who? The Archbishop of Canterbury, of course. Oh, no. It's like, it, as, as soon as I saw the crosses, I was like, well, shit. Well, shit, we all know what that means with those on. I know it's for the king at some point, but that's the Knights Templar at some point. I don't know. This is an alternate history, so maybe not. Selling the sexual things of nuns? Yeah. You mean some people actually pay for them? Well, foreign businessmen, other nuns. Random. They run all the way from this one, which is a pardon for talking with your mouth full, signed by an apprentice curate in Tewkesbury. <laughs> How much is that? Okay. Two pebbles. Pebbles? Which is a pardon for anything whatsoever, including murder, adultery, or dismemberment of a close Those friend or relative. <laughs> who's that signed by? Uh, both popes. May you be turned orange in hue, and may your head fall off at an awkward moment. <laughs> Does this work? Yeah. Really? Yes. Really? No. <laughs> oh, God. What's going to happen? Because like, I feel like he's not going to continue to be the Archbishop. Uh, wine from the wedding at Cana. Oh, dear Lord. He's merchandising and everything. I've just tweaked on. I thought it was like people had sent those things in, but no, he's making a, basically a shop. But this is disgraceful, my lord. All of these yeah. are obviously fake. <laughs> yes. But how will people be able to tell the difference between these and the real relics? But they won't. That's the point. <laughs> well, you won't be able to fool everyone. Oh, probably. I have here a true relic. What's it meant to be? It is a bone from the finger of our lord. It cost me 31 pieces of silver. Oh, it's a fake. Baldrick, you stand amazed. Wow. Ah. I thought they only came in boxes of ten. Oh, Percy! Uh, mind you, for a really quick sale, you can't beat a nose. For instance, this is the uh, Sacred Appendage Compendium Party Pack. You get uh, Jesus' nose. They're swindling people. Why am I not surprised? St Francis's nose and... Uh, oh, no, they're Joan of Arc. <laughs> Bastard verger! I'll show him! Open the door and there's... I thought the priests were... The um, oh, knights are going to be there. Oh, Percy! The Archbishop of Canterbury. There is enemies. Oh. Uh, yes. We fear yeah. he may be in danger. Really? How? Oh. Perhaps good King Richard, angry with the Archbishop for some reason. Don't know why. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, did, I didn't quite catch your names. <laughs> uh, George DeBath. <laughs> How do you do? Uh, uh, two drunken knights first returned from the Crusades and here on a mission for good King Richard. God bless him. Oh, yes. And you're, you're oh, missing? Percy, you frickin' idiot. Kill a bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I'll, I'll just go and get him. <laughs> oh, oh Baldrick. A uh, yes? couple of knights here to see uh, the Archbishop. Oh, come on. He knows, he knows. Mugs. <laughs> My lord, I've got someone to say that... Oh, dear lord. Well, the fact is, uh, okay. there's two men outside who've come to kill you. So he's going to hide. What's 
going on? Those two men have come to kill us! Oh, come on, honestly, Baldrick! Just because a couple of people have a bit of breeding, you assume they're bound to be mindless killers! Well, they are! There's no way out! Help! Help! Oh, my... I don't... oh my god, the fact they're... Oh, that's why they're, they're not praying. Or they were, because they thought that was the last thing, but hey, they got out. Good, good. They've dropped off. Yes, all three of them. <laughs> that sword bent then. <laughs> clever Baldrick, clever Baldrick. Little sisters of indolence, three men came in. Which way did they go? Um, I think they went that way. Wait, did you hear? They'll be watching out for us dressed like this. Quick, in here. Oh, bad. This is so bad. <laughs> Hide your faces. None of them can say anything because they don't want to give up the disguise. It's even the guy with the beard and the sword. Have you seen two burly knights pass this way? Um, no, sister. <laughs> Most the pity. <laughs> Why don't you try that way? Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is hilarious. Yet, Superior. Does not send is that actual? Is there still one of the nuns sat in the bed? Bat. Often heard, but never seen. Somebody got killed. Shall we check the dormitory? Oh yes, Mother Superior. What a good idea. Oh no! Oh no! Girls! 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 If I told you once, I've told you a thousand times. <laughs> the dormitory is complete. She, so she's told them before. That's hilarious. It's the Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> I think I can explain. Self-defense lessons. You found that oh, all God. your interest lay in the beauty of your vestments. Ah, the fine embroidery. Unable uh -huh. to resist the slide into depravity. I could not resist the texture of the Hessian under things. Oh, I can understand okay. that. Okay. Okay. Oh, may I be cursed for it. And finally, <laughs> you got even two doing nights drunk and invited them to come and wrestle with you inside the nunnery in an <laughs> Covering for the, the nights as well. Well, there's an unmistakable rumour of truth. And I must therefore tell you that this morning I have written urgently to all three popes recommending your immediate excommunication. Three popes? Th three? But they said both earlier. I'm so confused. Oh, 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 oh. Girls, oh, thy doom. oh God! Again, wrong choice of words. What's his father gonna say to him? Oh boy! Oh pants! Oh crap! Oh damn! Oh blow! Anything other than what I've been saying? <laughs> his father's not gonna be happy. This is the end. That's a nice shot, though. That was a really nice shot. Quick! The nunnery's on fire! <laughs> hey. ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. I know I've been told that at least some more of the episodes have got after credits, possibly. Can't, don't know which ones. So we're going to keep it going, but oh! <laughs> Roy Evans, I know that name. But, um, oh, I can't believe Baldrick's so low down. And on the cast credits, Blackadder was last. I've got to say that. So, fair enough. He likes showcasing the guest cast first. But, um, I had, oh, God. It, it, like, I love the fact he, like, that little comment at the end. They're like, oh, it's on fire. That, which is why the smoke. <laughs> But he covered for the knights as well. I love the fact this father hugged him, although it's just because he was in a position and he used his words to get it right, but and get it done, but Oh, alas, here we go. The corruption. What are they up to? Yes, alas, Mother Superior. I'm tired and weary. You may leave me now. Very well. Alas. What's she gonna be doing? Presumably you won't be needing the unicorn tonight. 
No. No, not on that side. I'm not sure I want to know. I, I don't want to know. I like the fact the Made in Glorious Television logo at the end is in the same kind of purple they were like the of the robes. That's a nice little touch because it's been yellow, I think. I think we had yellow in the first episode. Maybe white last time, I can't remember. But um I do love the comment there of like it being smoke and that, but it's like Percy, Percy, Percy. He's just, he's not, he's almost like, oh my God, that's getting annoying. Maybe by the end of the season, it might get to that point. But because I'm not binging it, it might not have that effect, you know? But, uh, <laughs> like, I thought it, because he kept saying his name wrong and things like that, I thought maybe the father saying the name wrong would be his way out, but no. <laughs> I wonder if the, I, Highly doubt they're going to address the fact he's no longer Archbishop that next episode, but it'd be like going, even if it's just a throwaway line, would be nice, you know. But it seems like most of it seems to be separate. But oh, this is so much funnier than I thought it would be. And I'm so glad. I, I said it at the beginning, I'm so, so glad that you guys voted for this. It's so funny. But um, I would really love to know what your guys' thoughts on this episode were. No spoilers for what's coming next. But um, if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.